Hey guys, it's Zoe. Welcome back again to my channel, Care Beauty. Um, as you can tell by the title, this is not your typical beauty or fashion or hair related video. This is something a little bit more personal to me. Um, I say that because it's a struggle I went through um, my teenage years. And I was actually real surprised I got a couple requests to do a video like this. Not so much in the comment section, but a lot of people emailed me about this. And I've heard um, a lot of stories about the same struggle people went through. And it's all about body image. This is a topic that has caused me to be very insecure about myself at one point of my life. I'm not anymore. But if this is something that I know that can help young girls or young women are probably still going through right now. I don't mind at all sharing my story. So let me start. You guys know I'm from Barbados. I live in the Caribbean and is very different, very different from a cultural standpoint um, versus living here in America. Please don't get judgmental, I am just speaking from my experience and from the general standpoint of what I know while growing up in Barbados. I lived there all my life from since I was born there until I left when I was 17. Usually the bigger you are or more curvaceous or curvy whatever you want to call it, the more attractive you are and the skinny you are, you, you, know, look, you ain't too hot. <laughs> so. I have been skinny, slim, slender, whatever word you want to use, my whole life. There has never been a point that I've been chubby or my weight has fluctuated. I'm just naturally tall and skinny. My dad is 6'2", I believe. When he was growing up, he was very, very skinny, like stick thing, like tall, skinny man. And that gene was carried over to me. I'm just tall and slender, is the way I'm where I was born. So I didn't really realize how skinny or apparently how skinny the world thought I was until I got into secondary school, which you guys call here high school. Um, so that was about, I would say, say 11 plus. So 12, 13 years old is when I found children, you know how cruel children could be, really thought it was important to tell me how they felt about my weight and the way I naturally looked. Um, and I was raised in a household where my parents always um, instilled in me that you know we are perfect in God's image and everyone has their differences but that's what makes us beautiful. I was called every single bony name in the book. Like I said from bony to skinny to slims to bone bird to bones every single derogatory slender word you can think of I was called. And at first it didn't really bother me but it was when you know when you're young and you see guys talking to girls and who the guys are more attracted to and then the guys aren't really attracted to you because you look a certain way. That's when it started to affect me. It was increased when there were some... I was, it's not that I was an outcast in high school. I had friends. like I was cool and everything with everybody. But you know how those one and two, there's always that like girl. There's always that girl that got taught, got, feels the need to tell you exactly how she feels regardless of how she may um, word it. So she would wear it in a very mean way. Um, there was always, I'm not talking about one person in particular, but there were also, you know, there's one or two people that always had to say something. And oh my gosh, it used to get to me so bad because it wasn't even happening in school. Um, if I walk in through town, men would say things. The worst case, I remember, I will never forget this. I had this aunt, well, my, my great aunt. And she used to come around to family gatherings and she used to be like, So Zoe, you ain't gonna eat. And in my mind, I'm like, what do you mean I eat, I eat every day? You don't see me every day. How can you make a judgment based on that just because of the way I look? And it wasn't even like, all right, if you're going to be caring and if you're going to say something like that, you're obviously saying that with malicious intent. Is that's not a comment you trying to figure out if I'm okay, healthy, or generally care about my current well-being. You're just trying to be, you know, catty and rude. So friggin' rude. This is when I was um, starting to go to like modeling workshops and again modeling express that that's what I wanted to do in my career. And she's like, well you know Zoe, what has happened is that a lot of these girls just start throwing up. And then she started looking at me up and down. And in my mind, to me it was so baffling because that is a family member that grew up with my side of the family that is naturally slender. So she knows how our genes run, so I don't get why she felt it was necessary to tell me so. So I was also raised to respect my elders, so I used to be very tight-lipped about it, I just used to leave it alone. Let me also add, I was a late bloomer, I didn't grow boobs until I was maybe like 13. And that was nothing. Oh, she's so bony, she ain't got she's she bones, she ain't got a back, so she ain't got an ass, she ain't got a breast. <sighs> oh my gosh, after a while, it's really starting to get to you. So then when you go into an environment hearing that every day so that 
constantly nitpicking that something is wrong for you, eventually you start to believe it. And then I really started to realize that when I was 14, 15, um, we going out to parties and stuff, fats as you call in Barbados, and I going to buy jeans, and the jeans don't fit because I was, gosh, I'm, I think I was around like 90 pounds, size double zero, and because I was tall too, I think I was around 5'7 or 5'8 at that age, jeans were big and short on me. So that's the struggle I'm going through right now, but back then it was way, way worse. And I just used to be looking at myself in the mirror like, what are these people saying are right? Like, I really am unattractive. I don't look good. So I got to the point where I actually started to force myself to eat a lot more than my body could handle to the point that I used to feel sick sometimes. Like, it was so full. And a couple of months doing that, I realized, well, I'm not gaining any weight. And I used to pray to God about it all the time. God, please let me gain weight. God, please let me gain weight. And then I realized, this is the way God wanted me to look. And everybody is different. Everybody got a different frame. And everybody is beautiful in its own way. That frame of mine started kicking, I think, around when I was 15 and 16. So I got a little bit more um, accepting in who I was and how I probably would be for the rest of my life or until I had children and I would gain weight or whatever the case may be. And when I'm not gonna lie, something that also aided it was that I was in the modeling industry. So on the times I had a job or a shoot or some sort of event, that was a place where I was considered normal or you're a model, you're supposed to look like that way. But why I said my whole long story is that I want to let you know, young girl that's watching this, you're not always going to find validation or acceptance from the outside world. I got past it through two things, through my upbringing because I remembered um, what, how my parents raised me to be and through my career path because I was in a career which upset me and was almost praised to look the way I was naturally built. But that's not how it's always going to be in life. You're not always going to have an outlet, you know? You're not always going to have a person in your life or you're not always going to have a career that is going to just accept you for the way you look. And something important to remember is that people are always going to have negative things to say about you until the day you die. That's something you got to accept right now. You need to realize and know within yourself that you are so beautiful. You are so perfect just the way you are. Please do not believe there's only one form of beauty. Beauty comes in all different shades, colors, sizes. So all I'm really trying to say here today is that it's okay to be you, it's okay to be different, it's okay not to look like the girl next to you and the sooner you realize it, the happier you'll be. Eventually, no matter what people say, it, it's not gonna affect you. Just looking back, uh, everything, uh, all the insults I was given from strangers, from family, it has given me a lot tougher skin and actually the industry I am, you need to have tough skin tough skin because people are going to still look you up and down and pick apart every single thing they don't like about you. Please do not let other people's ignorant opinions to think uh, any less of yourself. You are so beautiful just the way you are. I hope my little <laughs> story time helped you. I know it's kind of all over the place but I was just kind of like going back in time thinking of how I used to feel and I hope this could connect to somebody. At least one person will be happy. If you like more of these me just talking about my childhood or just any advice, topics, just give this video a thumbs up and let me know below the next topic you want me to speak of. Thank you again for watching and until the next video, I'll see you next time. Bye!